And he goes, well, you got 30 seconds to impress us. I, I was like, what? What do you want me to do? I was like, well, you got 30 seconds to show to show us what you have. So I I volunteered wow. to, be, to help with the stunt coordinator. I said, hey, whatever you can, you know, you need, I'll be there. I'll do it for free. Yes. So I yes. work in the production, like as a PA, as a stunt coordinator, whatever they need. Hey, they say, hey, Peter, uh, this weekend I have a movie. I need, a, I need someone to help me in the production crew. Would you mind? I said, sure. So I volunteered yeah. to protections around him. Everything he does is for real. And, and that yes. brings the adrenaline and, and the excitement and, 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 yeah. and people to go see that. And they want to see yes. what, what he's going to do next, right? But in the U.S., safety is number one, right? They won't let you Number one, yes. If, to prove yourself, to, you know, in this mm -hmm. in, 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 in movie. Use your smartphone. Absolutely. Yeah, use the phone. Mm -hmm. Record yourself. You know, create your own show reel. Create your own action reel, and keep perfecting it and put it out there on the on the social platform. Hi, friends. I am Sunny Singh. First of all, everyone, hello. Namaste, Adab, Bonjour, Sastri Gaal, and Aslam Walikul. So we bring every Saturday, 7 p.m., awesome celebrity and awesome personality, actually, to our show, Let's Talk. Every Saturday, 7 p.m., through Bollywood International Film Festival. So before we bring our awesome personality and other celebrity to the show, we're going to talk about a little bit BIFF. That means it's Bollywood International Film Festival. So this is a fourth year of Bollywood International Film Festival. If you want to be part of BIFF, if you make any movies, short films, documentaries, real songs, animation films, or if you write any kind of books related to the film business, you can send your entry. It's a very easy way. First of all, Film Freeway. Film Freeway is a great platform because it's very, very well known and very famous platform to send your entries. Of course, second is WFC um, as well. Also, our numbers below. That's another way to send your entries. And if you still say no, so guess what? Other way you can send on through website. So it's www.biffmumbai.com. So guys, that's the website. So please don't be late. Send your entries today before you too late. And other way. Talk about sponsorship. So if you want to be part of BIFF as a sponsor, so you can send your uh, entries to uh, BIFF as well. So as you know, in the past, there's a good sponsors on BIFF. Exactly. I will tell you some names and thanks to all. So first of all, PAL Foundation. PAL Foundation is the biggest foundation as well. Also, yes, with their films as well and fine green films, and also film freeway. Again, I just like saying in the previous century entries. But that's the way you can send your entries, and plus you can send your uh, awesome uh, sponsorship as well. So now, guys, it's time to bring awesome celebrity, martial arts celebrity, and also actor, fight choreographer, who works in the various Hollywood films. We're going to invite now. So let's bring him in, Mr. Peter. Good. Yeah, my man. <laughs> How are you, Peter? So, guys, this is our Peter Pan, and he's a fight choreographer and also action actor. And uh, he's from USA, he's living in the USA. And we will discuss about that too, where he's born later on, his films and stuff like that. So, Mr. Peter, my brother, welcome to BIFF Let's Talk show. Thank you. It's uh, an honor to be part of the Bollywood Film Festival this year. And thank you so much, my brother Sunny, for inviting me to be on the show. Uh, never, <laughs> nev never dream, never thought that in my life that I would be sitting here and getting a live interview from, from, from the, B, uh, the Bollywood Film Festival. And, and you are hosting this. And uh, thank you so Absolutely. much. Actually, I'm lucky as well because I'm a part of a member, BIFF member for quite a bit of time. But uh, today is my first show I'm hosting, so that's really, really good. And I thanks to all team, uh, actually, 
giving me the opportunity to host that show, especially Yashpal Sharma sir and Pratibha ma'am and uh, Dr. Alpana and some other really, really phenomenal people uh, with the BIFF. So let's start our show, brother. Uh, thank you so much again. And uh, we talk about first your, your life journey, your history. Where were you born? And uh, so how uh, old when you were moved to USA? Let's start from there. First. Awesome. Well, first of all, you know, um, right now it's a little bit past 10 a.m. in the morning. Yesterday I was on set for uh, 13 hours teaching, wow, wow. Uh, teaching 10 American actors who want to become mm -hmm. uh, um, actions. Um, oh, okay. Because okay. they don't have any experiences. So they came to my workshop and they signed up. Mm -hmm. so the whole, uh, the long class yesterday out, out on the outside. In, sure. in, so I'm a little bit uh, tired today. So I hope I look okay. <laughs> so to answer your questions, I was born and raised in Vietnam. Vietnam. And uh, in 1993, I moved to the United States of America with my parents. Mm. And uh, I moved to uh, Georgia. And uh, then after that, I moved to Texas and I stay here and live here and work here ever since. So mm -hmm. I started learning martial art when I was uh, 13. I learned Taekwondo, just like you. I learned Taekwondo, ta yeah. The old traditional Taekwondo, unlike today, is you know, we didn't have any shoes. Uh, all mm -hmm. the were taught outside at a park on a concrete cement really? ground. So, and it was hot, no air conditioning. Yeah. So that was yeah, my yeah. Of martial art. As a child, I, I, I was bullied. I was being bullied all the yeah. time. Yeah, bullied as well. Yeah. All the, all the kids picked on me and they usually gang up on me and try to beat me up. I had to run away, find a different way to go wow. home. You know, I couldn't walk home on the same path because they were waiting for me. It was mm -hmm. a kid back in the day or now, you know, the same way kids are kids. You know, they can be pretty mean right, to right. you. So I was yeah, yeah. in bully a lot. So that's why, uh, you know, my parents decided to put me into a martial arts school to to help me yeah. to build a stronger confidence. And uh, and then oh. uh, you know, the bully slowly went away. And uh, mm -hmm. then the United States of America. And then I, uh, I learned uh, Hungar. Five Animal Kung Fu, and then Kung yeah, Fu. and Shaolin, and then uh, I finally learned Wing Chun, and then I stick Wing with Wing Chun all the way until the end, and uh, now I have a Wing Chun Kung Fu school in Dallas, Texas, that I have been teaching for mm -hmm. like twenty years. Yep, yeah, so that's yeah. much our background. Absolutely, I know that is a lot of even uh, guys like uh, move from India and Pakistan to different countries to have a better lifestyle, right? To even stay it's in Canada or, or UK. So the, any particular reason you wanted to move to the States? I mean, yeah, you were say you were 13 years old, but I think it's a uh, good age to memorize some your uh, past, you know what I mean? Uh, what's the reason you want to move to States? Like for the better lifestyle or just uh, you say, okay, you know what? I had enough in the, your parents say, okay, I have enough. I don't want to live in Vietnam anymore. So what, what's the reason behind that you moved there? The reason uh, my father, my father was a pilot during the Vietnam War. Yeah. Pilot? Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear back. He was a, he was a jet pilot. So he, wow. he started the other side of the, of the war, which is with the American. He fought alongside with the American from the South. So mm -hmm. after the war was uh, ended, you know, um, the, uh, my childhood was, was very poor. We were very poor. Wow. And uh, he was uh, he was not with us because you know basically they capture him and he has to uh, to go to the re-educational camp, you know, for mm -hmm. long. Time. So grew up with our father, and then they finally released him. So he came home, and we live mm -hmm. in a very small village where you know I remember all I had was you know a dog, a bunch of mm -hmm. pets around me, buffalo, cow. I grew up mm -hmm. raised here with my grandmother and my great grandmother, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. there was no television, no radio, no hot water, <laughs> no refrigerator. <laughs> just a, a small, mm -hmm. you know. I wouldn't even consider a house. So that's my childhood, yeah. uh, and then uh, so luckily, you know, the early '80s, I think the U.S. government uh, had launched a program that they would bring 
you know, the, the people that uh, serve alongside with the American to come over to the, the U.S. Mm -hmm. for lives, you know, and my father was qualified for that. And we right. waited two years and then we passed the interview and, uh, you know, we got a ticket to come to the U.S. because of my father. And it changed, mm -hmm. life. you know, I don't know what would have been now if I still lived there because, you know, how that goes after the war was over. Um, yeah. A lot of things changed, you know, a lot of things changed. So that's the reason why I'm here. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's a great story, mate. You know, uh, like 30 years old kid, you moved there to stay, but this is Vietnam World War or something like that. That's a good story, man. I would do the golf club for that. So let's let's we talk about martial arts. And then uh, you say you were bullied first. Uh, but how come you bullied? So what, uh, I mean, your parents put in into your martial arts, right? That's why you start learning martial arts. So you think the martial arts really help you out with that? Yes. So like like you and I usually talk when I when I grew up back in the day there was yes. no TV. I remember yeah. uh, so so the village like the village of my house my grandmother's house yeah. all the way to the end and there was a river. So I remember yes. um, in the early eighties that was the first time I heard that oh they're gonna show a movie. So yes. it's gonna show a movie, but the way they show movie back then there was no movie theater. They just have a little. Wow the little field, open field, right? And then you just go to the field and you sit on the grass and you will look up right. you see a gigantic screen with a projector from far away and they will show yeah. Bruce the movie, right? And I was sitting there <laughs> watching, wow, you know, that's really cool. As a, as a kid, man, who's that? Yeah. The guy was kicking ass, punching and kicking the bad guy. I was like, man, what is that? You know, that, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So. And then I came home, I told my mom, I said, Mom, I want to learn that. But there was no school. I, was, I wouldn't mm -hmm. know where to go. And uh, <clears throat> the bully went on for a long time. I remember I, I used to have a little, not even considering a backpack, like a, like a bag that I put, you know, mm -hmm. no book, pencil, my hat, all my school supplies. Mm -hmm. I would walk to school mm -hmm. every day. I walked to school every day. I walked home every day. Yeah. And then a bunch of other kids usually stopped me and ask me, hey, give wow. me your bag. I said, no, this is my bag. I said, no, this is my school supply. No, give it to us. So I right away, they tried to grab it from me and they beat me and they took it away from me. Wow. Yeah, they wow. took my notebook away from me. They took my pencil. They took a lot of things away from me. And then I was like, give it back to, give it to me, give it back to me. And so they gave some back to me. They took whatever they liked, right? I came home, I had to hide mm -hmm. it from that. He, he got mm -hmm. really upset, you know? So he actually whipped me because I couldn't wow. be myself. That's, that's, that's how bad it was. So I finally told my mom, mom, this keep going on all the time. So I have to find mm -hmm. a different way to come home. I was scared because if I, the only way for me to come home is to go that route. But if I keep going that route, they're going to keep beating right. me up and grab my things. So I have, sometimes I have to swim across the river to come home. Wow. So, you know, yeah, that, my childhood was really rough, but I, I had a great time, you know. Now mm -hmm. Kids, you know, are lucky. They have a lot of things. They have smartphone. They have computer. They have everything, right? So mm -hmm. um, it's good for them. But I, I think for me, it taught me a lot to be stronger. Yeah. Finally, stronger. my mom put me into a, you know, a taekwondo school, and mm -hmm. I, I became really good at it. Yeah, my, yeah. I kick my jumping back kick. It's just it came out naturally, Sonny. It's just like you. And then that confidence just built up. And then one day, yeah. you know, I, I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to walk that route and hopefully that they come out and, 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 and attack me and bully me. Now I'm ready. And sure enough, yeah. bam, bam, I knocked them down. I said, don't ever do that to me again. And now, you know, they're all gathering more guys to go after me. So I had to run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, see, you have a different kind of childhood when you went to from Vietnam to United States, because I know that in back in days, it was a really, really racist. That's what the word called racism there. Right. So, you know, what I mean, and it's very, very hard to live. I agree with you where you're coming from, man. I salute you for that. That's great. So let's talk about uh, acting now. Uh, I know you you do choreograph uh, in the films as well and acting as well, the front of camera and behind the camera as well. So. Why you want to be an actor? I know you have a martial arts skill, but somebody give you advice to go to the acting or uh, somebody say, 
or, or you decided yourself, you know what, I'm in the, in the States right now, or I watch so many Bruce Lee films, so I should be part of uh, the film business or film industry. So how, what was your mind that time say, I want to be as an actor, action actor, not as a star actor, I mean action actor. Um, nobody advised me or, or, or teach me or coach me to become an actor. <clears throat> it came from yes, me. Okay. So as a child, okay. of course, I went to school in Vietnam before I came to the state. Uh, I was mm -hmm. singing, so I was a vocalist for uh, ever since the second grade, the third grade, the fourth grade, and the fifth grade. So I, wow. I was never shy. So my teacher all usually asked me to come up in front of the class and would sing a song to the, all the students. So I would, I, I would come up there and sing in front of people and never, you know, uh, shy about it. And then when I came to the United States, you know, I, I watched a lot of movies, you know, and uh, yeah. inside me, I want, I want to become an actor. I want to become mm -hmm. an actor. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where mm -hmm. to go or who to talk to until one day I was teaching martial arts at my dojo at my school. And uh, a friend of mine called me. He said, hey, uh, Chuck Norris had a casting call. He was looking for uh, an Asian character that know how to uh, kick some ass. I said, sure. <laughs> I said, sure, I'll go to the auditions. I don't care. They put me as an extra or in the background. I just want to yeah, yeah. So the drive in me to want to do it, that's what, you know, yeah. triggered the whole thing. So wow. I drove to the, the audition four hours away. Yeah. And I waited yeah. in line for like four hours until they, wow. yeah, until they asked me, hey, who's fam? You know, come on in, your turn. So I remember <laughs> people sitting, you know, uh, in front of you say, uh, introduce yourself to us. I say, hey, my name is, you know, Peter Fam. I'm here for the audition. Yeah. And they go, well, you got 30 seconds to impress us. <laughs> I, I was like, what? What do you want me to do? I was like, well, you got 30 seconds to show to show us what you have. So I throw side kick, jumping back kick, flying side kick, wow. movement, back flip, front flip, all kind of crazy things that I could think of at that time just to impress them. They were like, mm -hmm. wow, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and they said, what else you know? Wow. I know how to use weapon. And they look around, you have uh, the nunchuck? I said, yeah. They said, yeah. So they gave me the nunchuck. I whip out the nunchuck. Wah, 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 everything, right? I said, okay, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, we'll call you. So I drove home. And they called me, hey, you got the role. So come on back. And we'll put mm -hmm. you in the, in the project. That's, that's the beginning of my career. So that was your first project with uh, Chuck Norris. Because I know Chuck Norris is the biggest superstar in, in Hollywood think uh, and then he's probably it's not doing any more film i know he was last his film was i think expendables i think right expendables yeah. is the biggest hollywood film yeah but uh, it's great i'm a huge fan of such as well the whole one day i'm gonna meet with him but it's a great uh, to work uh, with chuck norris and there was a commercial right i think there was a commercial right it was the very first yeah. you know, all gig that i was part of it but yeah and on top of that, you know, um, get into it, this industry, it takes a lot mm -hmm. of effort, yes, and, the effort. and the drive to be successful. So after that, you know, um, things didn't come easy my way. So I basically, had, I had to uh, work very hard to create my own opportunity. So after that, yes. I fell in love with the, with the, the type of the work that I experienced with the, with the show. So then yeah. I was taking some acting class. I learned how to wow. work with the camera. I volunteered to be on set to help the director. I volunteered yeah. to, be, to help with the stunt coordinator. I said, hey, whatever you can, you know, you need, I'll be there. I'll do it for free. Yes. So I yes. work in the production, like as a PA, as a stunt coordinator, whatever they need. Hey, they say, hey, Peter, uh, this weekend I have a movie. I need, a, I need someone to help me. In the production crew, would you mind? I said, sure. So I volunteered yeah. because I know that whenever you are on set, you watch how they do it. That's the best way to learn. No film school wow. actually teach you that. That's real hand, hands on. Absolutely. So I volunteered to be on set just because I wanted to learn. And one day, but I know that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. 
that the one day uh, a friend of mine shoot an action movie in Dallas, Texas, that he needed a stunt coordinator, but he didn't know who to ask. And he called me. He said, "Hey, Peter, I need some help. I need some help. Can you come and help me?" I said, "Sure." So I drove to the production crew and I helped to put the sequence together. And then um, when we went through the second day, he said, "Hey, I have a role for you." Uh, would you mind doing it? I said, "Why not?" So I took on the role, and I was the the assassin. And they shot okay. for me, and it turned out awesome. Wow. Yeah, it's just because I volunteered to help, and then the opportunity came my way. So absolutely. And just one, like you know, another thing, one project after another project. You know, from a commercial gig to a short film. Yeah to uh, an episode and then uh, volunteer work and things like that, built myself up with the experience that I think I was ready and then I took on the feature film. Absolutely. I know that is action is, uh, I mean, Western, I'm saying we have a like Western culture and then also Eastern culture and the East and West, that's what they call it. You, you know what I mean, right? In, in lingo, America style. Uh, so let's say, what do you see today? American West, American action, or compared to Asian act, action, action. I'm talking about Chinese action or Vietnamese action from Hong Kong or Taipei, China, China, Taipei. It's a two, two different things because they do a lot of major safety rules in America, Canada, or UK. But in Vietnam or China, or Hong Kong, like the Shaw brother is very, very big on the action. They don't use maps. They don't have it. They just, I think, they just go for the real hit. So what do you want to say about that? Because I know you grew up there, right? Eh? So I know that you had experience in the past as well. So how you compare those? Is easy in states or easy in the back of home in, uh, in China or Asia? What would you want to say? Ooh, oh, great question, man. I know it's a very tough question, right? That's, That's why I asked you. I know you can give that. <laughs> wow, Sunny, this is a tough question. Okay. And you know, I watch a lot of uh, Bollywood action movie too. You know, oh, you do? Wow. I, do. I, I grew up watching it too. I remember wow. I used to walk all the way to the open field and they have a big, gigantic uh, screen. And I'm, I watch a lot of Indian, you know, Bollywood action movie. <laughs> and the thing that really, you know, I love is that the dancing part, you know, the way they dance, the way they, they move. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, man, this is a tough question, Sonny. I yeah. think, in my humble opinion, yeah. humble opinion, yeah, there are several factors involved Absolutely. in the process of making the action. Okay, say yes. sometimes the directors want to make the action that focus on ticket sale. All right, right? It, let's say for american audiences right i don't think they care much about how brutal or how realist realistic the action must be right because yes, for, yes. for the american yes for the american indians all they care is i think it looks good yes the picture quality looks amazing the sound effect the vfx looks yes. amazing car being blown Amazing. up yeah you know the guy just jumping through the roof and thing like that but the work behind it like the wide work and thing like that they don't really care all they care is that looks cool car chasing team, helicopter shootout that looks fantastic that's just for the mm -hmm. audience uh, they like that yeah. in my opinion right oh yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. pure entertainment okay but for people like, um, like for in Asia, for an example, yes, oh, yeah. the hardcore casual action fan, they want something realistic. They want yes. brutal knockout. They want real punch. They want real yeah. stuff to the gut. They want real gun stuff like that because of the culture <laughs> we brought up. Like you and I brought up with realistic stuff that we see every yes. day. We want something wow. new. So you see like guy like Tony Jar, you know, of course. especially Jackie Chan, when you see him perform stunt work, 
is scary. Yeah. You know, it is. protections is very minimal. Yes. You know, he's like, you notice, like, he, he's where he, he, rarely you see, like, protections around him. Everything he does is for real. And, and that yes. brings the adrenaline and, and the excitement and, 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 yeah. and people to go see that. And they want to see yes. what, what he's going to do next, right? But in the U.S., safety is number one, right? They won't let you Number go. one, yes. If you get Absolutely. If on set, then the production is over. So it's two different cultures, different mindset. So you cannot compare. That's right. A guy like Tony Jar, you know, again, they minimize the safeties. You know, they want to try to do a so real, like jumping on top of the car, do the flip and fly an elbow and hit everything so and so it's hard to say, you know, but it's because of the culture. That, that's what I'm saying, Peter. The action industry is really, really uh, different compared to East and West. That's why I call East and West, you know. So same thing like in Western, they have a different kind of mindset and Eastern, they have a different mindset. Even India too. I know that there's the Indian people, they do real stunt as well. They are very tough guys from India as well because I know I work with them too. So I understand where you're coming from and where you're learning from martial arts and something like that. So uh, tell me about uh, Wing Chun. I know it's Wing Chun is a great martial arts because I've been learning as well the past many, many, many years. So why Wing Chun? Why you pick Wing Chun? Why not you carry on Taekwondo? Why not you pick Karate? I mean, of course, you study another martial arts as well. But I know that you're focusing on main Wing Chun. Why is that? I know Wing Chun is a very deadly art too. Guys, if you're listening to this interview, it's found by uh, one actually lady, right? One really, really weak lady. So because it's very center line, is a great impact, short distance fighting stance. And they're using a lot of films right now, uh, Wing Chun, uh, real Wing Chun, I'm saying. So why is Wing Chun, brother? You asked all the great questions, Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> okay. To me, to me. It's not about the style. It's about the style. Absolutely. It's about the practitioner. I have friends master at Taekwondo. The way they throw the kick, you can never imagine. So the reason why I find Wun Chung, because I found Wun Chung works perfectly for my body, for the way Absolutely. I, for the way I see things in my head. Mm -hmm. And Wun Chung helped me to open so many doors when it comes to imagination of how to put together an action sequence in your mind before you can actually physically do it in real life, in the real scenario. Absolutely. That's the yeah. cool part of Wun Chun. Wun Chun movement offers so many ideas and concepts on top of what I have previously learned. Mm -hmm. So it opens so many different aspects. So whenever I create the choreography, it helped me to escalate a movement to the next level and makes yeah. it really interesting for the audience to capture that, right? Mm -hmm. You throw a jab and a cross, you know, and an uppercut, that's everyone does the same thing. But same thing, yeah. yeah. For Wun Chung, I can add a little movement on top of it, make it really cool for the camera. You know, that's Absolutely. one aspect of it, but as far as for real life or for the, the art itself, Wing Chun give me the economy of movement and it minimized a lot of wasting movement. It helped me to, ultimately, ultimately it helped me to manage my own body weight and space and body weight. Weight. That's what helped, sure. that's what drive me to a Wing Chun the most. Absolutely. And also it looks very dynamic as well when you do on the film shoot and it looks like pop, 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 pop. It looks really awesome too. Look at Ape Man 3, Ape Man 4. You know, it's, it was really, really great fight scene with Donnie and Scott Adkins. Wow, it was really, really amazing. Eh? So Peter, brother, is anything you're working on right now, any projects is coming up, yours, and you're preparing for any movie coming up? Or if you wanted to share it, please definitely share on that platform. Go for it, man. You know? Sure. Last year, we just finished uh, a movie in Texas. It's called The Domino File. I was the co-producer, the action. Okay. Movie. Yeah. And uh, I, you and I talked about that. At that time, I couldn't fly you over, but it was a game. Yeah, yeah. It's a Vietnamese yeah. Uh, action game crime movie. 
and we shot mm -hmm. Harley in Texas and and uh, New York. So we of chose course. post production. Right now, we are waiting uh, to sign the deal with the distributor in uh, Vietnam. All right. Uh, we I'm okay. Please later this year, and then I'm gonna bring it to the U.S. Uh, and uh, I will, I will, would love to invite you to the premiere. So that that was the that was the biggest uh, action movie that I have done uh, up until this point. That was the uh, wow. Or I think I destroyed around maybe 12, 12 cars. And I oh really? <laughs> we put one up the Acura to the river, and uh, we wow. uh, you know we, we we had some cool action fight scenes, and I can't I can't wait to share that with uh, with you. Yeah. So it's thank you so much for this year. And other than that, you know, um, nothing at this time. I'm just, you know, writing some script, you know, training, teaching the workshop to the local actors. Yes. And uh, yes. my hope is to work with you and to go to Bollywood, you know. I, don't, <laughs> I, I, volunteer, I, I volunteer again in the production. I, mean, I love this line of work. You know, I, I, the cup, my cup is on way empty. I want to learn. Yeah. 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 You know, Bollywood uh, uh, Film Festival watching this. Uh, watching my show reel, you know, with the help of my yeah. brother, Johnny, I volunteered to mm -hmm. be the, the, the for the. I mean, this it really is good, brother, because you know uh, that's why my next question was: if you have opportunity to work in Bollywood, would you do it? That's my next question. But you already say that yes, you wanted to work in Bollywood. It's great, fantastic. And people will watching right now if they're watching the interview, like you know, and then they hope they approach you or something like that. It's going to be great because you know what? I want you to Hollywood English films and blend it with the Hindi films. Bollywood films and work together as a team, right? So it's going to be different experience, sharing knowledge, right? You know, those kind of stuff. And I think it's happening right now. So it's really, really good. So you share those things. That's a really, really great one. I really love that you're a thingy, you, whatever you're doing right now. So acting wise, like I know you took some lessons as well, acting, because let's put acting and uh, action, I think is a two different sequels, right? It's two different things. So when you're in a fight scene, you have to prepare for acting. You have to prepare from, uh, in, you have to be in a character as well. Also, you have to reaction as well. Somebody's punching you or you're punching somebody else. And if it's not sailing the punch, your techniques go get waste. You know what I mean? So what do you want to say about that? If somebody wants to learn, become a, as a martial artist, action, actor, so what the newcomers actors should be doing? Do you have any suggestion from them? Absolutely. I would say martial arts background helped me so much, you know, uh, if someone wants to, you know, get into the business and become a uh, martial, art, martial artist, actions, yes. actor. I think the first Absolutely. step, get into a martial arts school, enroll in any type yes. of because martial arts, teach you the discipline, the discipline, and the body mechanic behind it, the body mechanism, you know, body development, and ultimately help you to manage your own movement. And then at yes. the same time, I would encourage them to enroll into a, a stun workshop, a stun training school. Yes. You know, like those who live close to you, they can come to you. You have a lot of experience. Absolutely. You would teach them because now they have the basic the basic knowledge of martial arts. Then you would teach martial them right. how to sell the action, how to punch, them, how to stack yes. it. So it will look good for the camera. Stuff like that, thing like that. That traditional martial arts school don't have any idea, but they have to go to mm -hmm. a stunt training work uh, workshop or a, a stunt coordinator. Would we'll teach them how to do that, how to sell the action, how to do body reactions, face or expression. And thing like that, mm -hmm. step by step, uh, and then you know, put together or design some basic choreography, you know, with you or with the stunt coordinator, and keep rehearsing, keep practicing, and uh, that's the only way to get better every time. Mm -hmm. You know, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. There's so much to learn. The more you do Absolutely. it, the better. Absolutely. I totally agree with that because, you know, that's why I tell people like, I mean, just you told as well, uh, just keep going, keep learning, you know, find a school and then start doing because action is not easy. It's in action in cinema is not easy. 
and you have to put a lot of effort on it, right? And if you have the martial art background, just like you say in the part in the previously, uh, it really really helps to build your resume as well, right? Correct. And then plus, is a social media is a huge platform in these days, right? So before, like let's say 10, 15 years ago, it was not really a huge platform for social media. Now everyone can put their uh, show reels in there. You can put uh, old reels there. And they can show them or oh, what kind of arts they're learning, what kind of style they're learning, acquire to the film industry. So that's a big, huge, uh, I think, impact as well, our uh, action cinema as well, right? Right. We live in such a interesting era right now, where yeah, absolutely, where uh, uh, smartphones is right here in front of you. So I would suggest that for the newcomer you know the young common actor who wants to to prove yourself to you know in this mm -hmm. in, in, in in movie use your smartphone Absolutely. yeah use the phone mm -hmm. to record yourself you know create your own show reel create your own action reel and keep perfecting it and put it out there on the on the social platform and get mm -hmm. you know, exposure from the people around you and you know and eventually someone's going to discover you you know, if you want to do it, but you sit back and you don't try hard enough, you don't go to a, a no. school, you don't train with the partner, you put together the, the sequence, you record it, you send it to the directors, to the producer, open your own YouTube channel, put it on your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever. Get people to know you because back in the day, like you said, when you and I first started, it, there was no smartphone. There were yes, no... absolutely. Yeah, nobody knew who we were. We just have to really like you know, figure out what do we do next so that people can discover us, you know? But now yeah. it's, so, it's so easy for people. Also, it's great to, you know, uh, like uh, with that platform, social media is great for even teenagers, young comers as well, so they can put some stuff there. It's easy now. It's mostly it's a digital at the moment. So, you know, I remember that when, when this COVID happened, videos actually, on, on the online actually video, you know, they actually created a fight scene digitally actually so that was really plus point as well that time you know at home you're doing those kind of stuff so let's talk about uh which martial arts hollywood film you like like you watching over and over again and you think uh, that films give me inspiration to do something in my my acting career or my martial art career and which film you follow it like any film you follow it yeah i i'm a big fan of keanu Reed. Uh, John Wick, yeah, 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 such an incredible, you know, guy. Um, you know, he's so humble, and uh, yeah. he constantly learning and improving himself in all aspect. You know, on set or off set. You know, so he's my idol. Uh, as far yeah, as you know, what I see in the future or what I like to do, I'm I'm more into the. Uh, the storytelling and the actual, you know, hand-to-hand um, -hand combat, the reality, mm -hmm. the brutal reality, yeah. action, like old school. Uh, and, and that's something that I would love to do in the future, you know, on top of uh, a creative way of telling the story. Because I think mm -hmm. actions, sometimes people get carried away when you watch mm -hmm. a movie and action look fantastic, but the story is not that compelling. Then, Absolutely. then there is no message for the for the audience that watch it. They usually walk away from the movie and don't remember much of it except just some cool scene. So that's something that I'm constantly reminding myself and learning, you know, whether I'm going to be invited for an acting yeah. job or whether I'm going to yes. be on helping designing the action or directing the movie. I have to remind myself that. Uh, I'm the audience too. I have to convince myself that this movie is going to give the audience a message that they can relate it to their life. That's something that I'm going mm -hmm. to want you know, the future project. But I think mm -hmm. actually just an extra element on top Elements, of yeah. yeah, an extra element on top of the main ingredient to make it, you know, uh, a perfect combination. Well, yeah, hey, you you have a meal, you know, you eating you eating, uh, um, you know, um, chicken curry, for an example. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. on on top of that, the main ingredient is the chicken and the broth. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Without that, there's you 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 don't have anything. But what yes. you know, the audience is the look from the outside. Okay. Yes. You have the color, you have uh, the basil, you have the garlic, yeah. you have uh, you have uh, uh, a coconut, all that little That's right. together combines and such beautiful mm -hmm. that it looks fantastic. It looks you know so good that you want to go ahead and try it. You know, but absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so to me, action is like a a, a small piece of element on on yeah. top an ingredient. So, but you have yes. too much of actions on top of that, just like you have too much of something on top of it, and make the the plate of food looks boring. So, <laughs> that's my opinion. That's your opinion. Okay. So, uh, Peter, who if you have opportunity to work with any one Hollywood actor. Who are you gonna be working with? If you, what was your wishes you wanted to work? Just the one actor, okay? All right. If you like, if you are really, really dying to work with him. You know, who is your 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 favorite actor? Of course, Gary. Come on. Really, damn, again, man. <laughs> yeah, just bring me on set. Okay. And have one strike and kill me. <laughs> I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be happy to work with. Uh, yeah, with him. It would be a dream come true. Yes. Yes. Keanu is a good actor. I'll take that one. And let's say if you wanted to change one thing in action cinema, one positive thing, what, what are you going to do? How can you change? And why you want to change? One thing you want to change. Man, that's <laughs> a question, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing that I would like to change in action cinema, and why would I do it? Hmm. Yeah. If there's one thing I would like to change in action cinema, is I would create more opportunity for new guy. Absolutely. For new, new people. For new guy that have the skill and uh, the ability and the willingness to to deliver. I will give new Absolutely. people the opportunity if I have my way of doing it in Hollywood. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, why? Like I said, I just I just think that uh, there are so many great, you know, martial artists, you know, actor out there that mm -hmm. uh, their skill set is amazing, but they have not been discovered. They need mm -hmm. to be but they need to be, you know, in the movie. So absolutely, because I still feel like this business is yes. such a closed door. You know, that is yes. so self-protected that it's yes. rare you, you you get to see that window of opportunity open for other people. So the window yes. of opportunity is very slim. So that's the only thing that I wish I can change. If I can, absolutely. I can. Absolutely. And you will do it because you have the charisma, you have honor, you have ethics in martial arts. Real martial artists have ethics, and I respect that. Just like you training a lot. I know I saw you some videos. I saw you choreography. I know that. I know you for past year and a half, almost two years, and I saw you work as well. So I just like to say, is man, thank you so much. Uh, uh, you giving us opportunity to uh, come to the lovely uh, show called Let's Talk, and uh, to. Uh, Bollywood International Film Festival. And you have any message uh, for uh, Bollywood International Film Festival team? Anything you want to say? It? Okay, well, first of all, thank you so much for less talk. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Thank, thank you so much, Bollywood Film Festival, for giving me this opportunity to talk. And uh, thank you, Sonny, for inviting me. It's, I feel it's such an honor. I love it. And uh, my message is that uh, bring me to Bollywood. I would <laughs> love to work over there with you guys. So <laughs> it's awesome. It's gonna happen. But one condition, eh? I'll tell you now. Whatever films you make, you have to send to the Bollywood International Film Festival. Okay? <laughs> Promise that. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be interviewed by you. And uh, thanks to uh, Bollywood Film Festival. Thank you. Thank you, Peter, and uh, hope to see you soon on set soon. And uh, 
great work brother great interview and uh, i hope people watching this interview soon and uh, it's going to be awesome and uh, again brother i respect for bottom of my heart us respect thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys cha okay bye 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 so guys uh, that was uh, mr peter pan he's a choreographer it's a great conversation with him today i really loved it myself it gave me a little bit of energetic mood as well uh before we wrap it up and uh what i'm going to say again about the iff so uh if you wanted to send your entries any kind of film uh like short documentary or any kind of feature films commercial songs and motion films or any reels just uh, don't waste your time just send it right now because the time is very very limited eh? and uh of course uh, it's a lot of ways you can send feel free way wfcm also number provided and also the biggest website is www.biffmumbai.com and uh, this is a great opportunity and if you want to be sponsor just do it you know what i mean mate don't wait and go and just contact uh, uh same thing like i said biff that would be great and also pal foundation is have a great hand for sponsoring for past three years and also yes with your phones and find green phones that definitely film for you so don't wait act now you never know what's going to happen tomorrow and uh, next time we going to bring we going to bring some more again great personality another celebrity related to action cinema or some other related to cinema any kind of other language or any films related we're going to come back soon thank you so much having me here your host sunny singh god bless rabra khaji